Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I will show how to make a car in GTA Online that looks the most like a real life Mercedes C or E class. Now, the first thing you want to do is obviously get the car which we're going to upgrade. You head over to the legendary Motorsport website and there you search for the Shafter V12. If you didn't know already, all the car brands in GTA are based on the real life variants. So Benefactor is Mercedes and Uber marked is BMW etc. This car is actually based on the E-Class 250, but it looks really similar to a C-Class as well. The color you pick doesn't really matter because you'll be able to change it anyway. So now that you've ordered it, you can pick it up at one of your garages or simply have the mechanic deliver it to you. This is a car that I use and as you can see it looks pretty good compared to the real life model, especially with the rims. I actually tried to aim for a C200 ish with a AMG line myself, but obviously you can change it to whatever you want. Now we're gonna head over to an LSC and I'll show you how you can pimp your ride. Here for the magic touch! The performance upgrades are obviously your own choice, but I won't spend too much too much time on those, I simply have maximum on everything. Now, our first aesthetic part will be the bumpers. These actually also improve your traction on the road. Which one you pick is really up to you. I chose this one because it tried to give it the more aggressive AMG line. But if you prefer a more standard or, or avant-garde look, you, can, you could go for the Euro bumper. The rear bumpers aren't really an option here because it does not fit into a Mercedes as you can tell. For the exhaust, this single exhaust looks like the most real C-Class one, as all the other ones are dual. Hoods are also irrelevant, just like the horn. The headlights are also really just a preference, as I prefer the blue lights over the white ones. Now there are obviously many color variants, but I like the black one better. The only pity here is that I cannot really color the bumpers and skirts white according to the AMG models because the secondary color changes the top of the car. But again, this is really how you prefer it. It's the same for the interior. I like this custom skirt better for the same reason. The carbon one doesn't really fit in. Now another important factor is a spoiler, because as you can see taking one will hide the back logo. Other than that it also improves traction. I took just a, just a lip spoiler to make it more realistic. For the suspension you, you should just see how you like it. Having at least one upgrade of this will improve traction as well. And last but not least, the thing that makes or breaks a car are the rims. Luckily I was able to find a really good looking AMG rim, the classic 5 star. You can find it in a sports section. These are the only rims I really find fitting on a Mercedes. You can also change the color, black is nice, but I prefer white for the contrast. We don't touch the tire smoke or design for the most realistic effect. You could, of course, make them bulletproof. And finally, the window tints are really up to you. I prefer them limo. By now, your car should be finished, so let's take it out for a drive. The only issue is that it slips quite a lot when taking off, but after that it will accelerate really quickly towards its end speed. But once you get the hang of how to drive it, it's a really great and fast car. I prefer to drive this over supercars actually, because it looks so modern and stylish. The engine also sounds very nice. So thank you for watching and if you find a new way yourself to make it even more realistic, feel free to let me know in the comments. Have fun with your new car and drive safe.